Now we are going to discuss the project title called Efficient Authentication for Mobile and Pervasive Computing which comes under the IEEE transaction with mobile computing as its domain. This is the main objective of this project that is the message that is to be authenticated is also be encrypted using any secure encryption algorithm to append a short random string which can be used as an authentication purpose for the encrypting short messages. Now let us see the abstract of this paper. The data security and integrity has developed as an important research area that has increasingly considerations between both industry and, and academics. The existence of small gadgets that can be used to exchange messages and to form conversation networks. Here we have proposed two peculiar techniques for authenticating the short encrypted messages that are directed to meet the concern of mobile and ambiguous applications. In a symbolic portion of such utilizations, the familiarity and purity of the communicated messages are of business interest. The main exclusive process is that the message to be authenticated must also to be encrypted. So that here we propose a certain secure authentication codes that are more efficient than any other message authentication codes as compared with the other existing systems. This is the data flow diagram of this project after the nodes creation the created nodes should go for the nodes configurations then after the nodes configuration the nodes can log in using their registered username and ip addresses for an authorized login purpose the unauthorized login entries can go for the uh, configuration assignment then authorized nodes can go for the random selection of a sender nodes which can select any one of the files as a short messages that can be applied with the block cipher methods using the AES encryption method. Using that AES encryption method we can convert the plain text into the cipher text before generation of the message authentication tag. For this message authentication tag we have to convert those cipher text into a binary m which can be meant as a binary messages then we have to generate this binary or which is nothing but a random nonce that can be used to make the cipher text then with the help of this both binary values of m and r we can generate this message authentication tags which can be sent further uh, sent further to the receiver by appending both the authentication tag along with the cipher text. Once it is received by the receiver, it should apply with the same block cipher methodology using the various decryption algorithm to make make it into a plain text that can extract uh, this M and R which is which will be in a plain text. Then using this. Uh, same binary values it can generate once again its authentication tag that can be matched along with the received uh, authentication tag to verify uh, to verify whether to accept or deny the received short messages now i can show you the demo of this project starting from its home page you can create a fine number of nodes like this and we have to uh, select any one of the nodes for the nodes configurations with its corresponding nodes name and its IP address and a unique password. Okay, and same for the second node and for the third node. Just change its name and IP address and a password. So similarly for fourth one and for fifth one. Okay, after the successful nodes configuration it is ready to enter into a system so here we can list out the deployed nodes and we have to select any one of the nodes and 
just enter the IP address and it's registered a password. So I'll get the entry of the nodes. Here we can get the details of the entered node, and here we can select the list uh, remaining nodes as its uh, receiver node. So the, I'm just selecting the fourth node as its receiver nodes, and the goes for the file selection. So we can browse anywhere where in your system to just open a text files. So here it shows the selected files path and its corresponding basic information with its file size and its name. So after this we can get updated in its DB and it goes for the time and nonce generations. Here I have to just enter the length of the bit that is length of the random nonce and the, using this uh, length we can generate a unique random nonce and then here I have to select the sender node and the have to get the initialization vector parameters which is going to be uh, used uh, in a block cipher method so this is the parameter of this initialization vector parameter which can also be used as a secret key so here I can just get the plain text of the selected file and uh, using this parameter I will just generate a uh, key that is called as the initialization vector key and then again I will go for the sec secure key so using these three parameters I will just uh, convert this plain text into a block cipher using the DES algorithm which can be implemented in the block cipher methodology after this block cipher conversion I will go for the message authentication tab generation so these are the uh, formula and uh, these are the parameters you are using in this formula and uh, here I have to get the length and its corresponding random nodes and uh, here I will just obtain the plain text and convert it into a binary values of this plain text here I have to convert this random nodes into a binary R and uh, these two binary values can be applied with this authentication tag formula to obtain this tag value uh, which can be sent to the selected receiver node here I have to open this open both the ciphertext message and the ciphertext uh, random R like this after the concordination of these two uh, we have to get those uh, authentication tag which is going to be transfer to the receiver side so I have to first send this authentication tag to the receiver side so for receiving this we have to log in as a receiver so once again and I just give its corresponding password to validate its entry and just get its uh, basic details and just enter the same port numbers to receive the authentication tag first and then start sending its uh, cipher text which is appended along with the random nodes and just send this cipher text to the receiver by just entering the same port number we can receive the cipher text from the sender so after this we have to go for the plain text conversion so here we will just separate those uh, cipher text and uh, here we have extract the R and it should be go for again conversion into a plain text using this DES decryption algorithm so here we have obtained the plain text of that corresponding cipher text and here we have to decrypt this R so using these two values only we can start generating the uh, authentication tag right here so by just converting this plain text and a random R and this is the uh, tag value which is obtained from the center side so now I have to 
go for the binary conversion of this corresponding text and its binary r value and using these two values i can generate once again the authentication tab so using this validate button i will just check the data authentic authenticity has been satisfied or not so after this successful authentication only i can just um, i can just know that these data is being sent from the authorized sender so at last we can analyze its performance by checking its data privacy ratio and its data authenticity thank you for watching